it where it's yeah, you're trying to get back into the, the, the good things. So if you think you're having issues or you think you're having problems, you can come see us. We're on the fifth floor of the library. Stop in because it's always nice to talk with you, see what's going on. Maybe we have some suggestions and things that might help you out so that you don't get to a point where there's actually no return. I wanted to just kind of highlight a few things that is a little different from the um, undergrad to graduate. I know there was a lot of you that said you already have a master's degree, so that's fantastic. Um, for those of you that don't, there are, um, we have a graduate student association that does a lot of uh, programs around campus, so they'll send out announcements and things like that. You can actually join the listserv to get the announcements. Um, and you can find that on our website, or you can just send it to listservs at ul.edu. And then you say subscribe, GSA, your first name and your last name, and they'll put you on that listserv. And you can start getting um, invitations to things with other graduate students so you can meet and greet and see who's, who's out there and, and make friends. <laughs> um, academic standards. At the graduate school, you have to do great work. Okay, if you follow a three point, then you go on probation. Sometimes in the undergrad, you go probation regular, probation regular, and kind of bounce back and forth. At the grad school, you get 12 hours for the duration of that degree to get yourself back up to the three point. So at the end, if you're right there, but you already used your 12 hours, you can be dismissed from the grad school. And that's, that's pretty serious, so that's not where I want anybody to, to get to that point. Because if you're dismissed from the grad school, you cannot readmit to a different program. You're not admissible any longer at the grad school. So uh, before you get to that point, please come see us. We can talk. There might be things that we can work out. I've got my little cheat sheet here. So um, something else that's different from the undergraduate is courses time out at the graduate level. If you're, an under, if you're a master's student, you get seven years to complete your degree from, from admissions to the end. And they ask that you uh, try to stay within the time frame, but you need to remember courses themselves time out every five years. Because of all the new updates and new research and everything, the data or the information every five years cycles through. So that's very important to remember that. It's also very important to be advised by your advisors. If your program really doesn't require advising, it's really important that you touch base with them and you stay on your plan. Okay. Um, it's very important to do that. Does anybody have any questions about the graduate school in general? Getting on the fifth floor of the library. 